was a photo I snapped coming out of an Airbnb we were staying in, in Pula, Croatia. And of course I snapped it because there was laundry hanging and um, there hadn't been laundry there the, the day before. So of course you need to take these photos as soon as you see them. So I was really happy to dig out this, this photo to work on. I took a couple other photos and you'll notice in this one that all of a sudden there is a figure in it. So I had to decide, am I going to include the figure or not? I'm really attracted to figures. And so, as you will see in my thumbnail, I did put the figure in. So there she is, leaning on the parapet there on that wall. And um, of course the thumbnail is to familiarize myself with the scene that I want to paint, but also to create my three main values, which is what I've done here. Dark, light, and middle value. And the light being the laundry and the side of the building, the middle value being the sort of roof and the sky and a bit down the left-hand side, and the darks being behind the laundry and also the shadow side of the chimneys. That tiny little value sketch to the right is just a tightening up of the the values and also I was just trying it out in a square format just to see how I liked that. One of the things that was troubling me about including the figure is that I want viewers to you know take a circular path around the painting sort of going over the chimney tops and then circling down to this laundry which is the main the main point of this painting. And I worried that if the figure was there, rather than completing that circle, that the viewer would be taken off either to the left, if she was looking out to that side, or if she's looking out to us, that she, uh, the viewer would be taken towards us. So rather than completing that circle, uh, the viewer would be taken out of the painting, essentially. So here's my charcoal sketch that I did. This is the drawing that I will pastel on. And as you can see, I did include the figure. I'm still undecided. I was still undecided at this point. Now, you can also see that I took out some of that background part behind the, the, the roof to the left-hand side. This is the thing about, you know, working from photographs is that you make choices. You don't have to copy everything that's there. Anything that doesn't support what you want to say about the, the picture you're painting, you know, what it is you're painting, then leave it out or move it around. Here's something else I changed. You can see that sort of pipe thingy bobby, whatever it is. I decided to move it. I moved it to the left hand side of the bigger chimney. I wanted to make it more a part of the roof line than it is in the photograph. And you'll see that. And one more thing I wanted to point out is that the chimney on the left, I also repositioned that. You can see where the orange line is. That's the, uh, the, the positioning in the photograph. And where the pink line is, is where I've moved it to. Now, let's get to the demo. So, here we are with laundry and rooftops. As you can see, I kept redrawing this, redrawing it, because I wanted to keep the... Um, I wanted there not to be too much dark below these the laundry. I wanted to, so I kept moving. There's the original line and I kept moving the laundry down. So I've changed the pictures slightly, but I just love this, the, the shapes, this colorful pattern of laundry against the dark. And I'm going to be using pastels from this Unison 36 uh, piece starter set. So we'll see how we go with this limited palette. And after stepping back, uh, coming back in to make just a few little refinements, for instance, right on the top of that tiled roof. Now you can really see where that tiled roof comes down. And these, this tiled roof is such an important part of the painting, so just, uh, again, correcting it. But I don't want to, you know, the line probably should have come more, you know, more vertical. 
but I didn't feel it was that important to change it at this point. Now with that darker brown, just a few lines to indicate the, the edges of those tiles. And I don't have to go very far, just that little tiny bit will really um, tell the viewer what, what they are. And seriously, seriously, I step back and I take a long look and I'm pretty sure this is it. This is, um, I'm done and that's what I'm telling myself, I'm done. But there's that one little piece right there. I just need to correct it, um, the sharp, sharpen up that edge. Um, and then also just, I need to get rid of that line a little bit. Yep, <laughs> fiddling. And is it really done now? Is it done yet? Not quite. A little bit of yellow on that gutter. All these little things, you know, you could go on and on forever. As I watch myself working, I think, you know, you could have stopped probably a little while ago, but you see things, you see things, and you just, you go, I want to correct them. Just softening off that hard line so it doesn't dump, jump forward. And really, this is it. I keep saying it, and then I keep fiddling. I do keep saying it, and I keep fiddling. And I say, right now, after I do this, I'm going to do this, and then that's it. Truly, I'm done. And there it is. The final painting, Pula Rooftop. It's done with Unison Pastels on Pastel Premier paper and the size is 10 by 12. And I just wanted you to see it in black and white. I pretty much stuck to my value pattern of uh, light on the wall and the laundry, the middle value of the roof and the sky. The sky got a little bit light, but it still reads darker than the light of the wall and the laundry. And then of course the dark in the, um, the shadow side of the wall and the chimneys. And here are the pastels that I used in this piece. They're sort of arranged uh, in light and middle and dark. And you can see them here in the set circle. You can see where the darks are, which ones are the lights, and which ones I use for the middle value. Thank you so much for coming on this art journey with me.